What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another Hasbro Star Wars The Vintage Collection Market Update. And for some reason, there were a bunch of graded TVC that all sold over the last week. It seems to go in kind of waves with graded vintage collection. You'll go like a week or two or three where you hardly see any that are for sale or have sold. And then there's weeks like this past weekend where... Uh, we had a number of items sell, and the range is everything from the very early Ultimate Galactic Hunt, like you see here for this Clone Commander Cody, all the way to uh, recent releases that are just getting back from AFA, and, and a lot of the resellers are starting to put those back on the market. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Before I do, please be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. Please leave a like and comment below, and it really helps out the channel. Uh, first of all, we've got, as I mentioned, VC-19, the Foil Ultimate Galactic Hunt Clone Commander Cody. Looked to be in really good shape, and uh, the grade reflected that. It was an AFA-85, so it had the three-tier grading. It mentions FET Offer Foil logo. 85, 85, 90 were the subgrades, so pretty, pretty high score. AFA notoriously grades, you know, even modern items on the three-tier scale, pretty harsh. Um, it's it's really tough to get 90 grades with AFA. But uh, this was a very, very nice item. This one actually sold for about what I thought it would. I, in the back of my mind, I was thinking between 250 and 300 uh, when this auction was going. And it sold for $255 on 41 bids plus $17 shipping. So that's kind of right in line with where I expected. And that was a really nice item there. And I, that's one I, I would have liked to have bid on, but I just... Can't make it happen right now. Another one that we have to talk about again is VC-34. It seems like there have been a number of Django Fets, both graded and ungraded, that have sold here recently, and the prices ha have really jumped. It, it just continues to command big money. Now, I I'm going on memory, so don't quote me on this, but there was an AFA-90 that sold for $800 or so. Uh, just a few weeks back, and this was an AFA 85, and it just shows you the big jump in price that you can often sometimes see with uh, going from an 85 to a 90, especially for modern items. Uh, it's especially true for like uh, vintage items, like we just saw an AFA 90 Luke Bespin that sold for $9,000. So uh, it just seems like that making that jump, just that one, you know, jump from 85 to 85 plus or 90, it, it really causes a massive multiple in the in the price, but. This one was an AFA 85, archival case, the card got an 80, blister 85, figure 90. It said warning text on back, so I'm not sure what that's referring to there. There must be a different version that, that does not have uh, you know, some of the warning text towards the bottom. And I did hear from Anthony P, who is one of the foremost experts on the vintage collection, and he said that a lot of the early labeling for AFA is not quite you know, the same, they, they don't label things the same way that they used to for a lot of these early graded ones. And I, I'm assuming that that's the case here because you don't see warning text on back very often or at all for um, a lot of these vintage collection items. But uh, Anthony mentioned that, you know, like this and the Sand Trooper and a few others have some kind of weird labeling that uh, maybe they don't do these days. But anyway, this was a beautiful unpunched example. <clears throat> and uh, again, it sold for $301 plus $17 shipping. So, you know, less than half of what the 90 sold for fairly recently. A couple of VC61 mail away prototype Boba Fett sold. And this one was, was actually a UKG graded item. I did find a number of UKG graded items this time around. So uh, for those of you overseas that watch the channel, Number one, thanks for watching, but uh, I did include a few items over in the UK just so you guys could get some price references over there. Um, shipping, by the way, fr from going from the U.S. to the... I don't know what it's like going from the U.K. to the U.S., but going from the U.S. to the U.K., it I mean, it's literally doubled or tripled over the last 12 months. It's just completely insane. So it's frustrating if you're a buyer over here looking at stuff in the U.K. that's selling at auction and vice versa. Just, you know, even excluding the global shipping program with e eBay, which has always been notoriously expensive. But even, you know, even when I ship stuff overseas to the UK now, uh, you know, for friends and things like that, I mean, the prices are just complete insanity. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, well, I mean, I do know what's going on is gas prices. But anyway, uh, 
This one was a UKG uncirculated 90. And you can see the card got a 90, blister 90, figure 95. So really nice scores on this um, Boba Fett. And the price was 150 Only had one bid. 150 which translates to about $200 US. And I would say that that's, that's about right, if not even a little bit low relative to some of the AFA graded examples that we've seen. Uh, sell here recently, but uh, you know the, the, what's prohibitive is you know that's two hundred dollars, but through GSP it was you know another sixty seven dollars here in the U S. So, so that was one of them. Uh, and then over here in the U S, this one sold. This one was another. Uh, strangely enough, this one was in the U S. I believe. No, I'm sorry, I take that back. This one was overseas as well, but this was another U ninety prototype FET, and uh, it looked to be the same scores or or pretty close to it, but uh, that one sold for $262 US, so a little bit more expensive, and that one was on seven bids. So this one, it, both of these closed the same day, which is really interesting, but you got essentially almost the exact same scores, but one of them sold for $62 more, um, which, you know, let's call that about 30, a 30% 30 jump in price, uh, even though both of those are about the same and uh, sold the same day. So just pretty interesting data there. Uh, here was another one that was over in the UK. This one was a UKG graded Darth Vader VC93. This is one I've got in my collection with the Darth Maul offer sticker there, as you can see. Nice unpunched example. That was straight 90s. That one sold for $116 US uh, or 90 Great British Pounds plus shipping. That's exactly what I paid for mine. I think I paid about 110, 115 somewhere in there. Uh, here was an. This seller had a number of them. This was in the U.S., but this seller had a number of kind of, you know, they weren't like super high grade, but uh, they were nice ones, and uh, th they were on the modern scale. So this is the Luke Indoor Capture SDCC Revenge of the Jedi example, and um, so you can see that here, unpunched, really nice. That one sold for fifty six bucks, fifty six dollars plus shipping. That was a great deal. I mean, I know it's not a ninety, but still, that's. I mean, you can't even get it great for that these days. <laughs> it's pretty, that's a pretty good deal. Um, here was an AFA 9.0 original issue, not the reissue, but the original issue Obi-Wan Clone Wars. And uh, that's on the modern scale again. Again, you know, for those of you who are new to grading, uh, AFA does have a modern scale that I'm hoping they get away with, by the way. Uh, they do away with. Uh, but, you know, it goes from 1 to 10 instead of the 1 to 100 scale that we're used to with AFA, UKG, and CAS. But anyway, this 9.0 grade went for $250. $250 plus $15 shipping. That's a big number to me. Uh, a, little, a little surprising it went that high. But, uh, you know, certainly a beautiful example. And uh, here was another one that this same seller had. This was an AFA... 80, uh, 8.5, so again on the modern scale, VC-129, Dr. Afra, one of my favorites. I do love Dr. Afra, and uh, this is when I've been kind of mentioning that in high grade, especially 90s and 95s, uh, Afra has been jumping up in price, and this one was only an 8.5 on the modern scale, and that one still sold for $128 plus shipping. So uh, again, that's up, that's up pretty significantly over the last six months. Given that you can pick, you could and, and probably still can pick up an ungraded, very near mint plus example of Dr. Affer for between $25 and $45. So, pretty good number there. Uh, here was another UKG graded item that was over in the UK. This is the reissue Wicket VC27 that was graded 90, 90, 90, 95 were the subgrades. So, that again, that's the reissue version. That one's still. Sold for $110 US or about 883 Great British pounds plus shipping. Um, here was a Cara Dune, uh, 8.5 8 on the modern scale. That one sold for $76 plus shipping. That's a pretty good price there, I think, for uh, a VC-164 that continues to kind of be in fairly good demand. Whether it's the regular issue like this one or the carbonized version, Obviously, the Black Series is another one that, that is, is pretty high demand right now with collectors. Uh, a number of these items that this seller had over in the UK all sold for the same price. It's funny. This one sold for $87. This is the um, Range Trooper, and it looks like it was the U.S. car. Let's see. No, it, it looks like this has got the uh, international warning label sticker on the back of it there. But anyway, that one was a high-grade, uncirculated 95 for $114 U.S. or 87 pounds. That's a very fair price to me. Again, this same seller had the 
Scarif Stormtrooper that was also U95, and it sold for the exact same price at auction, $87 plus shipping. But uh, that, those prices, I feel like, are really are steals for an uncirculated 95. I mean, I know that they're newer, but that's that's a great price. And uh, one other one, this was another uncirculated Princess Leia Bausch disguise, and that too did sell for $87. So I'm guessing that probably the same buyer bought all three of them but i don't know i don't know why those went so cheap but uh those were some good deals i feel like uh here's the first time i've seen one of the graded ahsoka tano mandalores and uh this one again was a ukg graded example vc202 90 percent was the grade for it that one sold for 132 dollars us i have a feeling that this one is going to continue to hold its value I, I just it's a really beautiful figure and I would be really surprised if this one, uh, maybe it comes back down a little bit uh, as other resellers get their graded ones back. I, I know I've got at least two or three at uh, at CAS slash AFA right now. And I, I bet that as those kind of trickle to market, you, know, you might see it maybe drop just a little bit kind of into the $100 range. But I think long term, this is a great one to hold for your collection because anything Ahsoka is just going to be very popular. And I just love the way that card back looks. It looks so pretty. But anyway, VC202 UKG90, that one sold for $132 US or 101 Great British Pounds. Uh, again, here was another uh, U95 from that same seller, UKG graded. That one sold for a little bit more. This is the Klaatu and the Skiff Guard disguise, a really great figure. Awesome paint apps on that one. Uh, again, that one sold for 112 Great British Pounds or $147 US. Uh, this was an interesting one. This was uh, the VC000 HasLab version of the Yak Face with the Power of the Force card back. An awfully pretty item. This was CAS graded 90. Card got a 90, blister 90, figure 95. And um, I was looking on this thing to see if I could find uh, the scratching or you know the indentation for that half circle on the card. This one doesn't look like it had too bad of one. Uh, hard to tell with those photos. Uh, the photos look super... I don't know what the right word is. They, they added some contrast or something to it, so it's hard to tell what's going on with the uh, condition of the card back. But anyway, that was listed for a, a 520 Canadian dollars or about $400. 407 US is what it translates to. It sold for close to that. It sold for 500 Canadian dollars, so only $20 off. So roughly about $400 US is what that sold for, which seems to be about the going rate right now. 350 to 400 for a high grade VC000. Yak face. Again, here was another one from that same seller over in the UK. I, I didn't have them organized very well this time, so I apologize. But this was another U95 example. This one was VC158 Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. That one sold for $155 and uh, 155 pounds or 204 US dollars. So that one was was one of the more expensive ones from that batch. I was surprised to see that one go that high, but a really nice example. And finally, we're starting to see some of these gaming greats hit the market. I think I've got a few of these myself at grading, so we'll see how they, uh, how well the mine come back. But these were uncirculated, so it's a really nice high grade. Fan channel exclusive Scout Trooper from uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Looks awfully pretty in that case. That one sold for $120 plus another $10 shipping. So uh, we're going to start to see more and more of these sell. And uh, this same seller also had uh, the heavy battle droid from Star Wars Battlefront 2. I love that card back. And the paint apps on that one look really nice. It's a nice comparison versus the uh, animated Tar Tartakovsky Clone Wars battle droid. This is the heavy battle droid, but uh, really pretty example. That was uncirculated 9.0 on the modern scale. He sold one. He's still got three available. Uh, $85. $85 plus shipping. That's a pretty good price in my mind for an uncirculated 9.0. But anyway, I know that you know not everyone collects graded uh, VC TBC, but I, I just thought that given that there was such a heavy dose of, of graded TBC that all sold this past week or so, that uh, we do a focus video on just graded TBC uh, for this video. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. Or if you didn't, you can let me know as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.